Lesson 3.1a, Rational Numbers Representing Division as Fractions. This is the first part of 3.1. A rational number is any number that can be written as a over b, where a and b are integers, and b is not equal to zero. So we can write it as a over b, like a fraction. And integers, remember, are positive or negative whole numbers. So rational numbers can be written as a quotient of two integers. So rational numbers can be fractions, decimals, integers, or whole numbers. Fractions are written with a horizontal bar between the numerator and denominator. And the fraction bar is also called a vinculum. Now some people like to be fancy and they like to write their fractions with a slanted bar, like this. That's not going to help you in math. That may look cool, but that's going to hurt you when you try to do math. As we get deeper into algebra, you're going to be using that horizontal fraction bar. So get used to do using it now. Plus it's easier to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions using a horizontal bar. There are two pizzas to be shared evenly by three friends. Since there are three people, we can divide each pizza into three equal parts. Each slice is one-third of a pizza, and we'll get six slices. Three, four, five, six slices. So here we have the three friends, Emma, Gus, and Lou, and we can arrange the slices to model the amount of pizza each person gets. Dividing the two pizzas into equally among three people represents two divided by three. And two divided by three is the same as two thirds. If we give them each one, we can each give them a second piece. Each person gets two-thirds of a pizza. They get two-thirds of a whole pizza. Two divided by three is the same as two-thirds. In fourth grade, we learned about fractions greater than one, also called improper fractions. Do you remember those? Their numerators are greater than their denominators. We can think of the fraction bar as a division sign as a vinculum. Ten fifths means ten divided by five, which is equal to two. We can simplify ten fifths to two whole, can't we? The ten would be the dividend and the five would be the divisor. It's ten divided by five. Ten is the dividend and five is the divisor. Any positive or negative whole number can be written as a fraction by writing it with 1 as its denominator. If we have 7 and we want to write it as a fraction, we just write it as a 7 over a 1. It's got a 1 for a denominator. If we have a negative 9, we just write it as negative 9 over 1. Just remember that negative sign. It goes with the number. And if you remember decimals, for decimals, we use the place value of the digit farthest to the right. So if we have 37 hundredths, the 7 is in the hundredths place, we can write it as 37 hundredths. And also from fourth grade math, we learned how to change a mixed number to a fraction greater than 1. If we have 3 and 1 fourth, we do the 3 whole multiplied to the denominator, then we add the numerator and we write it over that denominator. So we would have 3 times 4 plus 1, that would be 12 plus 1 is 13. We write it over that denominator, it's 13 fourths. If you don't remember how to do that, there'll be a link in this description to video 7.6 from that playlist, and you can watch it real quick for a few minutes to remember. So, a rational number is any number that can be written as a over b, where a and b are integers and b is not equal to zero. They can be written as a fraction, but the denominator cannot be zero. It's telling us to write each rational number as 
A over B. We have 5 divided by 7. If you remember our 10 fifths, this would be 5 sevenths. Here we have a negative 4. We can just write it over a 1. We have negative 4. We remember the negative sign. We write it over a 1. Here we have 25 hundredths. We can write it as 25 over 100. And here we have 2 and 1 eighth. We need to do 2 times 8, which is 16, plus 1. That's 17, so that's our numerator. We put it over that denominator, we have 17 eighths. So rational numbers can be fractions, decimals. They can be integers or whole numbers. So now we've completed this lesson. We're going to go on to the second part of this lesson, which is classifying rational numbers. We're going to use a Venn diagram. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you have a really nice day. And please hit that like button for me so I know if you understood, and I'll see you next time. Bye.